Abdullah and I'm from Yemen. I'm filming this video to take you throughout my day and to show you what it's like to be a woman in Yemen. It's now 3 a.m. It's actually Ramadan. It's too early, but this is the time we start our days. See, it's still very dark and people are preparing the food we eat before uh, fasting. Here I am preparing for the sahur. It's a tradition dish in Ramadan. So, uh, talking about women and their roles in Yemen is really um, a controversial topic because uh, our society, uh, the majority believes that um, women should just uh, play their uh, traditional roles. I think uh, it's it's unfair to just say that uh, when women play uh, roles outside, they, they fail in their role inside their houses. I'm here sitting and um, I was I was working on my policy paper about climate change, and um, this is like how I spend my morning in Ramadan nowadays. I love to take care of the planet. So Yemen has been under war since 2015 and the situation is devastating. Despite the war, despite the beliefs or the social traditions and uh, we still have women who are fighting not only for women's rights but for human rights. It is really inspiring because our society is not very supportive uh, for women to be engaged. I'm going now to do a training. It's within the program of uh, climate leaders which is a topic I'm interested in. Here I am. I have reached to the place where the training is held. And there is one information that should be t told is that the program manager is a lady and this is very satisfying. <laughs> So Yemen has women who are leading organizations, women who are running businesses, and women who are, as I said, building peace. And the examples are gorgeous. On my, on my way home, I need to reach home because it's like 4, 4.30 in the afternoon, and I have to reach before it's 5 to help my mom preparing for the food to break our fasting. For INGOs and uh, for Cordade in particular, I think um, uh, we need more uh, programs that, um, that focus on um, political participation for women, of course, and youth. Uh, we need to be empowered uh, in politics and in economics so that when we call for a decision-making opportunities we we can say that we are up to it and we are empowered enough to get it uh, that's all I wanted to say and I hope I have said everything um, representing all women in my uh, country and I hope it is um, it's effective thank you